Welcome to my first uh, video tutorial. Um, I'm hoping to do a few more of these uh, during the school closure just to, if they're useful and um, hopefully they'll, they'll help you out with a few different things. Today's is um, a tutorial on how to set up your own Class Dojo account at home. Um, you may have had your children talk to you about dojos before. They're essentially a house point system that we use at the school. Uh, they're all done online, they're stored online. Um, and I'm gonna show you so that you can continue that dojo system at home if you think that'd be useful for you, how you can set up your own uh, account. So all you need to do uh, is head to classdojo.com. Um, when you get there, you'll see there's a uh, series of different options for logging in. Uh, you want to hit sign up. Now, um, we haven't used the parent utility before at the school, and actually that's something that we haven't got set up. So for the purposes of uh, creating your account, you're going to create as a teacher um, for this account. So you get all the same rights that a teacher normally would. Um, you go ahead and put in uh, your details. Um, to sign up and then um, you'll get some more options on the next page it's really important that when you do get to the uh, next page that actually you do not um, try and link to the school when we do that it will actually uh, just disrupt some of the systems that we already have set up so when it comes up on the next login page and asks you to search for a school if you just drag down towards the bottom and you click on I don't teach in a school um, and then you're you're in. Uh, you can either agree to emails or not. What you need to do once you've created that is to set up your own uh, class. You, can, uh, you need to select a grade, but that doesn't really matter uh, for the purpose of setting up your class. Um, and when you have created a class, it then gives you the option to add students, which would be your um, your children at home that you'd like to add onto the system. Um, you just type in a name uh, and press add. Uh, and you can have that for as many as you would like uh, at your house. Then you press on save. And I'll just show you very quickly how the Dojo system works. So um, you can have this up and running in a browser or you can have it on uh, your phone or tablet device. You uh, click onto a child and we use this for positive reinforcement of the school. Um, we don't actually have uh, the, we don't take off dojos, it's just something to reinforce the positives that we think are, to sort of demonstrate what the children are doing really well. Um, there are, it comes pre-populated with a few different options that you could have, or you can edit your skills and you can either remove one or add an additional skill for um, of your own choosing, uh, so you can have a maths dojo award for some maths work that you might be doing at home. Uh, you can select a different icon for that if you want to, um, and then uh, decide how many points it gets. When you see your child doing one of these things that you think they've done particularly well, you hit that and it'll give them uh, a dojo. The children really enjoy collecting these dojos. We think it might be useful for some parents at home just as a reinforcement tool and something for consistency with school. Um, if you can let us know if you are using the system, just how many dojos your children are getting each week, we'll add them to our school system so that we can keep up with the house points uh, competition that we currently do in our Friday celebration assemblies. Um, I hope that was useful. I will put out some more videos um, as we move through this sort of period of school closure for different uh, websites and how to get the best out of some of the um, apps and things that we've suggested. Uh, thanks very much.